What's going on guys? We are back. Still talking about the aim tracks. This should be the last video on the aim tracks. We're going to be talking about the Dolphin Wii Shooter games and the PC games. Again, there's only really two PC games as of now, which is House of Dead 2 and 3. Uh, before we do that, we're going to talk about the Wii Shooter. Big thing, um, you know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, I assume that these aim tracks are plug and play, but when it comes to like separate emulators, forget it. Dolphin, the Wiimotes, um, I'm gonna launch Hyperspin just so you could get a better idea of it. I have um, basically Dolphin set up just like how I have MAM Arcade set up. There's two Dolphin emulators in this build. So there's one Dolphin emulator just for the Wii, and then there's another Dolphin emulator just for the Wii light gun. So uh, you're gonna see in later on videos talking about the Wii and the GameCube, um, you actually have to go into Dolphin and kind of configure controls according to your controller. So, um, for example, if you think about it, like the Wii, you could do a game that could use the Wii pad, like the Wii game pad, um, or some games like Mario Galaxy actually need the nunchuck and the, the Wii remote. So, with that, you do have to make a little bit of kind of adjusting inside of uh, configuration. But the big thing was, as far as the aim tracks, Inside of the, the Dolphin, it uses a program called the Mule Shooter. The Mule Shooter has a setting already pre-programmed for Dolphin. And basically the easiest way, is, and honestly, you can't even change that configuration because if you make the lightest change, forget it, it kind of screws up everything. So basically I designed it where you should never have to touch the Dolphin emulator for the light gun. Don't go into it. I already have it pre-programmed because any little kind of change, it kind of makes the Wii modes kind of spaz out, or as you said, the game is trying to spaz out on the Wii emulator. Um, I literally spent like a good 12 hours just getting the um, Wii light gun games emulator to launch correctly. It was a huge headache. Um, basically, uh, you do have to launch a program called the Mule Shooter. So I originally had it where I had a bat file launching Dolphin and then launching the Mule Shooter but then Hyperspin would spaz out and wouldn't even launch the Wii game. I basically had to make this whole kind of custom user function AHK thing, and now I got it perfect. Um, it's just a lot of coding and such, but enough of that. Let's go into the wheel. And a couple of games, there's about maybe I think 50 games, um, but the big thing to note about um, the Wii and all that, you're gonna think this is like really supposed to be using analog sticks, it's the Wiimote and the nunchuck on some games. So you do see that we have like Call of Duty. It doesn't really play that well on the aim tracks because you do need more than three buttons on the gun. So I do have all the other buttons programmed to the arcade stick. So like the start, um, I think it's like plus minus the Z, it's all set to the arcade stick. So if you ever need to push a button, you just have to go to the arcade stick. The first thing I'm gonna do is Ghost Squad. Um, pretty cool game, two player game, really nice. Um, this really is an arcade game and it's on Techno Parrot, but I can't get it to work with Techno Parrot, so I ditched it entirely, but luckily it's on this. So um, again, the aim track gun has three buttons. I believe like this is A, the gun trigger is B, and then I forgot what the three was set to, but if you look carefully, when I push three, it actually rumbles, it sets like a shake. So when I do press that though, it reloads the gun on some games. So I don't know if maybe the Wii was using, you know, you have to shake the gun to reload, I don't know. So right now, as you can see, it says here, press plus button to start, and none of these buttons work. And again, I'm using player one. I have that set to the arcade stick. So button one, basically the plus, is the start button. And as you can see, we have blue, and then player two, as of right now, is not even active. I'm gonna press start on player two, but I should really go into the party first. And let's see if I have player two there. Yeah, so my player two is red, and my player one is blue. So again, the mule shooter needs to launch to recognize these two guns. If you are gonna just do like one player, um, you could launch it in the regular Wii um, section, the regular Wii um, wheel. But if you are gonna play two player aim tracks, you do need to launch it within the gun game wheel. Um, again, two separate emulators are being run. And again, that this emulator specific is set to recognize two mice as basically controllers. 
So right now I can press like the action button the leader. just to kind of skip it. And I'll do one player for now just so you can kind of see how it is and then I'll do two players. Uh, this game in particular uses um, off screen reload. But you just have to kind of go off the screen. So up, as you can see on my left, I'm just going up. I'm not even pulling the trigger. I just gotta go off the screen and it'll work. Now keep in mind though, the games in this wheel, they're not all gonna work perfectly with this. Again, I'll launch Call of Duty. It wasn't that great because again, I was using the arcade sticks and I was losing my aim. If you had maybe a pedestal, maybe it would work. But again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really do like Call of Duty uh, per se. So again, there's a couple games like this. It's kind of arcade shooters. I think there's like an Afghan game. Um, there's like an arcade shooting gallery game. There's a couple, and you can see in that wheel there's about maybe 50 games. Um, I don't know exactly how many games. That was another thing. I had to create an XML list basically based off of uh, genre. Now real quick, in this section here, we have to arrest people. So I believe it says to the A button. This is the A button. So I'm gonna do it on one player, player one, and then I'll play with player two. So basically you wanna make sure you don't shoot the hostage, but you wanna arrest them. So you put the cursor over, and then you have to just hold down A. So as you can see the meter, we arrest them. I'll bring player two in. And again, same thing, I'm holding the first button. Close my thing. There we go. I mean, cool game. I mean, very interesting kind of concept. I'm actually doing better than what I've been doing before, like as far as practicing online. So again, off screen reload. And if you could see, if I hold this button down, you're gonna see it kind of shakes. You see that? So again, I can't tell if some games are set where to reload you have to that shape. Uh, I don't know. But again, the big thing with that, you don't want to touch the configuration inside of this dolphin one for exactly this one. Um, I tried setting like the plus button for one of these buttons and then all of a sudden like the aim and everything was way off. So again, as far as the mule shooter, it actually puts a file inside of Dolphin to making sure this works right. And again, I tried a couple of times changing and adding basically like button presses for this and it was a huge nightmare. You're talking like I couldn't even get um, anything working, the, the, the crosshair wasn't even working. So again, just don't expect every single game to work. That's just a given, but it's pretty cool. I mean, as you can see, we'll try to do two player action. I always fail with this. But definitely, definitely cool. So Dolphin, we shooting games, and luckily it's not taking up too much room. It's not taking too much room up. Um, because it's using the same game list as we. It's like it's not like double ROMs. Same thing with MAM. We're not doing double ROMs. There's no duplicate. But the double ROMs will take up a lot of space. So luckily, you know, with hyperspin, you basically just set up the database correctly. And again, off-screen reload. I died on this one, so player two is dead. I'm gonna press start, and then I'm back in. So again, utilizing still RT to work. There you have it. That's Ghost Squad. We're gonna exit out. And as you can see, that CMD that you see real quick, that's the mule shooter. Uh, and you'll see it when I do actually start uh, another one. So we'll try another one real quick. Um, let's try this one, Arcade Shooting Gallery. I do wanna try games that I haven't tested, but then it's like, I know I'm gonna test the game and it's not gonna work right, and it's gonna make me look stupid. But let's see this one. I mean, it's a shooting gallery arcade game, so hopefully it's good. So again, using this button, I could even sometimes skip this menu. Because I think, again, I believe it's set to A or B. Um, and again, I was trying to like play with it to make it set to like Z, and it just wouldn't work. Sometimes it was just spazzing out too much. And again, Wii, Dolphin Emulator, Dual Aim Tracks, running with the Mule Shooter. So as you can see, this button doesn't use the B button. I have to press A to select. So as you can see right now, like I'm, I'm pulling the trigger, nothing's happening. I just have to actually press A on this. Um, no tutorial. And as you can see, every game is different. That's just how it is. I mean, every game is different. So, you know, instead of you pulling the trigger to get through the menu on this, you gotta, I guess, keep pressing A. I hope it's a good game. <laughs> so 
So again, I got my crosshair. I don't even know if this is a two-player game. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I broke a crate. Dang, A through like an orb. Times like this, I probably should have played the tutorial. <laughs> What's happening? Am I supposed to shoot these things? Oh. Oh. Okay, there's no reload on this. On the screen, nothing. Oh, I just threw an orb. What does that do? So as you can, as you can see, if I it's set in, in Dolphin, and I looked at it, it's set to shape. Like there's an actual option in the configuration to shape. And as you see me holding this down, it does shape it. This game is just weird. What's happening with this game? Am I getting anything? Do I get points? Do I shoot anything? 90, 95, 100, I have coins. This is a weird game. Let's see if I can bring in maybe player two. No, nothing with player two. Maybe because I'm in story mode. Yeah, bumper car shaking me. At least that was an action. I was just walking around the theme park over here. At least I don't have to, oh, I can hold down the trigger. See, that's boring though. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. That's RK shooting gallery. I'm gonna exit out. Uh, I will play one that I do want to definitely show off. It was a pretty cool game. It was, I think it was this, Chicken Blaster. Now, quick note, as you can see with the Wii stuff, my C drive is getting like lower and lower. So um, if I can't get the artwork, I'll try to get at least the logos and run it like the PC games. Again, that's what kind of sucks as far as on hyperspin. You can't use the same folder from the Wii uh, to put the videos to the Wii shooting games. Like you have to re, you have to basically make duplicates of of artwork, and that takes up a lot of space. So I will try to get you know all the artwork, but worst case, I will remove the theme and I'll just make it more, like how my PC games are. It's just a logo. Um, so this one here is pretty unique. Um, you could do two player on this, and basically, I do want to show off one thing. To career. Uh, this game in particular, there's a part where you have to actually press up on your nunchuck. It's the analog stick. And again, it's just something that I haven't set up perfectly. Uh, it's basically, oh, I don't know. there you go. So I'm using this um, button two basically to kind of reload. And basically, what I was trying to say is that I set the arcade stick to be the D pad and the analog stick. So as you can see at the bottom, it's telling me to go up. So I'm going to literally press up. Because as of right now, I can't do anything. I could like look left and right, but I can't advance to the next part. If I press up on my player one, as you can see, it went away, and now we're advancing. So again, it just, I, I don't want to you know, brag, but you have to test. I'm not going to test every game, but just like the first two games I tested, I was like, oh my god, what are these, like, there's a bunch of stuff going on. I have to keep adding stuff and hitting stuff. So luckily, like, I think in this game, only player one needs the analog stick. Player two is um, hot seat. I gotta press up. I'm gonna do that and then I'll press actually, um, let's see if I can bring in possibly player two. No, I can't. I'm gonna have to go back and do player two. So now, same thing. And again, I still don't know the Wii because um, there's plus minus A, B, one, and two. And I, I, I don't know which one's the pause button because each game varies. But basically I have the six arcade buttons is set um, I have coin and start as plus and minus. Um, one and two, buttons one and two is one and two. And then I have four and five set to like the Z and something else. So let's see what I could do to activate. See, so playing, play, pressing player one start, I bought up the menu and I could quit. And then I'll bring in, let's do multiplayer. 
So it says here like the second Wiimote is required. So I just gonna press like start A and B and it looks like it recognized it now. Not A and B, like I'm doing like one and two. And we'll do career. And I'll try to get some dual action on this. So we got purple and I got red. So now that's the thing, if I have to reload, I have to hold down, hold down B. So let's make sure my, my shots are good. <laughs> one more, I just need one more and then I just wanna show off again the analog stick. Hello. So it says like analog D up. So I could either do player one or player two. I'm gonna press up on player one. And as you can see, we are advancing. So right now you see it on camera, I have to go up and hit it. So in this kind of scenario, maybe having a pedestal would be cool because you would be shooting the screen and then pressing up like that. But again, you have to remember that these guns only have three buttons. The Wii has analog stick, D-pad, four buttons, the nunchuck, you know, we're asking a lot of stuff for the aim track. So again, you just gotta keep that in mind. Nothing's gonna be perfect and flawless and you know easy to go. Some stuff does need tweaking. Um, so I'm gonna exit out. We're gonna try this. I didn't try this game, so wish me luck. House of the two and three returns. Let's see. Didn't try this game, like literally winging it right now. Hopefully it doesn't uh, fail me. So press A, so again, that's A. And now I guess I have to use my analog stick. Yes, yeah, so I'm using the analog stick. Oh, what did I do? I press something. says hold your fire. I guess it's starting. So press one to skip. And right now, oh, something happened. Oh, well, that's player two. No, oh, okay. Well, screen reload. Let's see, how did I just reload? Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna try that again. I'm not gonna make any cuts. We're gonna see what happened with that. So press one to skip. Oh, so it went to player two. I'm not sure why. Why did it do that? Again, I'm gonna hold player one in my hand. And actually the menu on this is like, um, it's like the PC version of uh, House of the Dead 2. Okay, so I don't wanna do time attack. Arcade mode, House of the Dead. Oh, I think I pressed right. Tutorial movie. I don't care about tutorial movie. Okay, press A to add credits. Hmm. It looks like it's reading as player two. I have both now, so let's see what happens with this. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna press like button one, even on player two side, button one. So reload. Let's see how we get to the reload now. Off screen reload? No. Hmm. See like button, this button here, it does a reload. You can actually see the animation. But now I'm stuck. No, it's like a... Interesting. Again, I'm hitting this one and shooting up the screen. Pressing one start. So again, player two button one is what I'm pressing. I have to do off screen reload. That's what it is. I lost my crosshair now. Hello. I have to do off screen and B is what it looks like. Hope I'm 
still on the camera. I'm gonna bring in player two. Let's put player two real quick. Player one, I mean. Yeah, it's, I have to press like A and B together. Interesting. You literally just see how that combination is. If I press A and B together, I get it. Almost like A and B and the trigger, I'm literally hitting all three buttons together. This is not too bad, now I got it. So I'm literally like doing A, B, up, and pulling the trigger. So let's see. And it's pretty cool because at least this is literally the PC games I would be playing. So again, like I said, you could see like you, you need to learn the game. Every game is different. I'm literally winging this and I'm not planning to cut this at all. Um, I, I might look a little you know stupid not knowing exactly what it is. But as you can see, there's so many different things. Like this is button one to skip. So button one is really the arcade button one. You know what I mean? So. It changes. I doubt that um, the mule shooter put, yeah, see, like I can't, it says hold your fire. No matter. But now I'm pressing player one and I, I think I skipped it. Yeah, I skipped it. And again, as you can see, it, Ghost Squad were perfect. Chicken Blaster were good. This isn't too bad. Now that I know what to do, I feel like I could actually play this. So I'm gonna skip this. So let's see, select your route. I press A, I guess, to pick. I'm gonna skip. Find across it. There it is. So again, I'm literally playing. I'm literally pressing like the three buttons all together. And when I do do that, the crosshair actually disappears. But then it's like I have to shoot off the screen and then bring it back. Yeah. See, holding down B isn't doing it. Oh, okay. So let's do that. It's actually B and trigger. B and trigger. Okay. If I do B and trigger, so B and trigger, I'm literally reloading and my crosshair doesn't disappear. So again, B and trigger, B and trigger. Off screen B and trigger. Hello. I gotta remember to stay in focus with the camera. <laughs> again, it's like an off screen B and trigger. Oh, get the coin. So I'm trying to see now if I hold B before hitting that trigger. Let's see. Go, oh, game over. <laughs> Let's see real quick if I can just do like regular House of Dead just to see what that looks like. But I mean again, playable, we just have to learn our button configurations. So I'm gonna skip. Okay, skip. So I'm gonna press down, let's, this is House of the Dead 3. If I go up, exit House of the Dead, tutorial, time attack. Okay, so let's do arcade. I press player one start. Again, we're just, like I said, I'm literally winging it. I never, uh, I never tested this game, so we're winging it. You see House of the Dead, I mean, House of the Dead should be easy. So now I'm gonna press button one on player one, and we're here. My gun is here, that's okay. And I did B, no, see, that one, that one right there, I just held down B. See, if I hold down B, it reloaded. Hold down B, and it reloaded. So again, I can't tell if it's, it's looking for that shake. I guess it's looking for the shake. I mean, that's what it is. You could literally see the crosshair shaking. That's the thing. So let's get rid of these zombies. Holding down shake, no, see, now, now it's not doing it. That one I did B and A together. Let's see, B, I did B and trigger. So again, B, trigger, B, yep, B, trigger. Holding B, hitting trigger, holding B, hitting trigger. That's what I'm doing right now. Yep, holding B, hitting trigger. I feel like I'm gonna like look at this and like, as I edit it, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. Audio's coming out, that's good. Not bad. I mean, see, now that I have it, now that I understand how it is, 
I'm able to play this now. So again, holding B, hitting trigger. I'm gonna bring in player two, just for kicks. So again, pressing A. I can find my pulse there. So, let's see right now if it's B and, B and trigger for um, player two. Yeah, same thing, so B and trigger. So B, trigger. B, trigger. B, that one would just B. I don't know what that zombie's calling. See, I'm do I did that one. Now it's B, you can see the shape. But now I'm hitting B trigger on that. I think it's a quick combo. Maybe it's B and A together? I don't uh, You guys are literally witnessing what I'm witnessing. So, again, literally not gonna edit this. I mean, definitely fun though. Once you get it down, that's it. I just do notice that if I hit A, B, trigger all together, my crosshair disappears. Um, let's skip this. So again, player two, button one, I just hit. Player two, button one was one on the skip. I figured that was easy because it's one and two, so buttons one and two. So again, player two, button one. Let's do one more and then we'll end this at least game. And then I'll probably launch like Modern Warfare just so you can see it. And again, it's just, it's not gonna be great. So if I press B, no, it's just A. Maybe, oh, I should've used the D-pad. That's probably what it was. I probably should've used the D-pad, which is the analog stick. So now if I hit like all three together, sometimes my crosshair disappears. As you saw earlier when I first was playing this. But now that I got the hang of it, I'm telling you, I'm holding B, gotta hit trigger, holding B. It's like I have to do it all together simultaneously. Off screen, maybe off screen? No. Is that reload just now? I just went off screen. So off screen reload? No. That one I did the B button and the trigger. B button and the trigger. See, that one I just did B. <laughs> I did B and a movement. I'm gonna pull. See that? You saw that. So I'm holding B and then just moving. If it's that, it might just be B. See, like I said, every game is different. I just held down B. But if I hold down B, it doesn't do it. Let's rescue these guys first. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. So B, trigger. B movement. Again, I'll probably have to read the manual on that. But right now, at least again, we Dolphin, two player, we're good. Take it out. Okay, so I'll launch Call of Duty Modern Warfare just to show you the, it's not gonna work. But uh, just to show you again, there's just a lot of stuff. So as you can see here, this one has the zapper. This person has the whole Wiimote and the analog stick. So, you know, in all honesty, if you're gonna play this, you do need like a joystick in your hand. So it's gonna be a little bit tough. Um, again, might be difficult, might be different if you had a pedestal. If you were playing on a pedestal, it would be maybe a whole different story. Uh, but right now with the bar top, I mean, you might be able to make it work, but let's be real. You're not gonna play Call of Duty Modern 4. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare uh, on the Wii because it's just brutal on the Wii. So I could do a resume game. And again, I'm pressing A. So resume game, A, yes. <laughs> Literally have to make a precision um, execution on that. That's it though. Honestly, this was like the last bit for the, for the aim tracks. Took about, I would say, a good week. To get it down, oh, I'm spinning because I need to focus. See, my crosshair here, I'm able to move. The big thing is that we have to go get the gun, so I have to now walk up to the bar top. While I'm aiming, it says hold A to pick up. So I'm gonna hold A, and I got it. See, I'm able to shoot, like it does work. But you're gonna see when I get into training, see, as I get close to the bar top, I'm losing my aim, because, well, I'm so close to the center now. Okay, guys, I'm not sure what happened. My camera started recording, so I'm just gonna restart. Um, so I was gonna show off basically the hassle with this. So I just lifted the gun up and I just wanna show you literally like what I have to do. So it says hold Z um, to like look down. 
That's player one start on the bar top. So if I wanted to play this game how it is right now, let me first get into focus. And I'm gonna literally hold player one start. See, and as you can see, I'm too close to the center for it to even read correctly. That's, that's the headache that you will have. So I'm literally inching and holding down the sight. Oh, I missed. Oh, look at that. See, that one says reload. Shake the, shake the Wii mode though. Let's see, like that's, I reloaded, but as you can see in that one, it says to shake. I guess it's not shaking enough for that. So again, literally, if I was gonna aim down the sight with this game, if I was Eugene playing on the bar top, I mean, you're literally talking going like this. See now also it keeps saying, um, when I do press player one start, as you can see it says like frag grenade. That's because, you know, I, I did program it to have a couple buttons, so I'm probably launching a whole separate button. So, see it says shake nunchuck. But that's so weird because the nunchuck in real life didn't have motion. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, luckily I'm able to just do, um, I think it's A or B, I could do like a lock-on. You could literally see the character's arm, but as you can see, like, honestly, let's be real, you're not going to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 with this. It would be cool, 100%, but like right now I'm basically stuck. Release, and then press hold Z to quickly switch. And as you can see, when I do get close, I'm basically... This is literally how we um <laughs> we did this testing with the PS3 emulation. But yes, as you can see, Modern Warfare, let's be real, let's not play Modern Warfare for that. All right, so I just exited out of that because uh, I had to move the camera back and everything. So a uh, big thing is remember that I took the XML of a genre called shooting. So I haven't tested all the games um, they might not all be exactly, you know, shooting games for the Wii. Um, I do believe there's like a G.I. Joe game, and I was actually watching the video on it, and it's not a shooting game. Uh, it's this one, G.I. Joe. It's really not a shooting game. I'll probably take it off this list, but again, I'm not going to be able to test all the games. Um, but just keep that in mind, I did take a genre and basically just, you know, made it its own list. Uh, Resident Evil, let's see that real quick. That would be awesome if this was an actual like shooter. Loading complete. I haven't tested this game, so literally winging it for the video. It says Wii Zapper, so that's a good sign. You do need the Wii Zapper. That's this. <laughs> so again, A and B. Actually, no, it's A. B is the trigger. I can't tell what. <laughs> okay, cool. Save game data, we'll create. Yes, okay, that's awesome. Just want you to see the crosshair, you know, it's good. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's switch this, so press any button, thank you. So I'll do a new game. New file. I'll go easy. I haven't gotten into Resident Evil. Uh, to me, I'll be honest, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not into the whole uh, zombie apocalypse jump scares. I do, let's see, what was that? A, B, Z, okay. A, B, Z, okay. Two player remote can enter the game by pressing one, okay. I have to hit A, B, and Z all together? Jeez. Oh, I just pressed back. A, B, Z, okay. Well, you don't have to press all of them. You could select either one. Okay. Oh, I probably had to select the character. <laughs> Dirt. Muffle. My bad. <laughs> I'll do just one player for now. <laughs> and again, as you can see, like, uh, well, I don't know if it's going to notice the crosshairs, but it did say I could press player one start during the game. So we will try that during the game. Let it load. Let it load. Skipping it, gonna skip. Trying to skip. Let's just press play one start, maybe. 
I press you pause. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, you okay? What happened here? Make sure it's recording, we got the audio. Something's not right with You are too close to that man, you better back up. Oh, oh god, oh god. I think he's dead. Do, huh? yeah. <laughs> ah, see, so let's see this now. This one. Holding B reloads. Holding B reloads. If I press player two start, then my player two coming? Nope. Nope, player two did not come on in, so let's just see what happens. Reload. I just held B. That was all it was. So again, it might be just looking for a shape. Holding B, shape. If that's the toughest and thing, just shake it. Get things get, and we got nothing to worry about. This is cool. I mean, definitely uh, very cool. This is literally House of the Dead style. That's what's great. Like, luckily the Wii had that vision. Not all the games are like that, but. Oh, it says pick up. Oh no. I saved you. I saved you. you. Oh, I saved you. Oh, save me. Sail, <laughs> help, send me help. Headshots all day. Now that I pick up that thing, it's set to pick up. And again, this is an A, so I should have been able to pick it up. That's why I should. Oh, I wanted to try shooting. <laughs> nope, nothing happens. Okay. Ooh. How are you gonna let that girl just run up on you? Oh. Cool, definitely cool. Like Resident Evil, this is a cool game to play, especially with the gun. This is awesome. Now, if I just press player one start, uh, I'm gonna go back to the main menu just to see if I can do two player. This would be cool for a two-player game. That'd be pretty cool. So let's do Chronicles. The Umbrella Corporation. Okay, we're gonna skip this Umbrella Corporation thing. Okay, by entering game by pressing one. Okay, I just pressed it. Player two has joined. Yes. Cool. So again, this is why it was such a pain. You did need the mule shooter for two-player. Cool. I did this. This is pretty cool. Remember when I thought A, B, Z, I had to press all three of those? <laughs> it's been a long week. But honestly, in the end, like seeing this work, that's the best thing. And again, the biggest thing, imagine like, you know, you have to like perfect it. You know, you wouldn't even know, you know, how to go into demule shooter and settings and all that. Where is it? That's why I, you could literally see this is never plug and play. It will never be plug and play. You have to do so much. Uh, configurations, every PC is different, every USB port is different, so you're gonna probably put it in USB port 3, hey, I'll make it for USB okay. port 4, then it doesn't work. There? Again, that's just Crescent, how it is. I, 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 I do it where I'd rather just give you the entire setup clean and easy. So let's see real quick. So I wanna reload. Yeah, it's a button, it's just B. So for this game, it's just B. And it looks like, again, it's just shaking. It just shakes vigorously. Let's just see if I do it. See, again, however, however the mule shooter set it up, I ain't gonna mess around with it. I, should, I don't have the hand-eye coordination for this two-player setup. I don't know why I even bother. <laughs> but this is definitely cool, like 100% worth it. This would be like a pretty interesting story mode. One player one. <laughs> I keep thinking player one is player two. Cool. There you have it. Resident Evil, Wii Shooter, Demule Shooter, Dolphin, its own separate wheel, its own separate emulator. 
let's do PC. All right, so now like I was saying about the PC, I'm gonna exit out, go down. It's really, right now, it's two games, possibly maybe three. Uh, I did want to try to get Big Buck Hunter Arcade, and apparently it just didn't work at all. It was like a really bad kind of game. So I go to the PC games wheel. It's just really two games. It's House of the Dead 2 and House of the Dead 3. Um, House of the Dead 2 should work. Um, House of the Dead 3 needs a keyboard because for some reason it just wouldn't um, recognize my joy to key. I'm not too sure why, but it just wouldn't recognize my joy to key. So I'm um, P, Q, R, S. Should be under the. So we have House of Dead 2 and House of Dead 3. So I'm gonna launch House of Dead 2. But as you can see, like House of Dead 2 on the Wii works. House of Dead 2, this is like really like the arcade one though. Um, I have this set to read with the arcade stick. So this, this one works. Like this, you don't have to worry about it. House of Dead 2, it works. You could skip with the A and B. I'll do one player for now. And again, this one really was like the actual, um, this feels like the actual arcade. Like this is the actual arcade game, but again, it is a PC game. So pressing B to reload, and same thing. This is launching an executable that launches the mule shooter. So I can even insert coins. I can press player to start, and now, as you can see, we go both on it. So again, House of Dead Two, no issues. I will go into House of Dead Three. This is why you can't do House of the Dead with just one, with one person, two guns. You gotta reload. We'll actually see real quick if, um, okay, can't see now. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can do off-screen reload. So I'm gonna press my player one start. So again, I'm still using the arcade stick. And honestly, that is because of, um, um So right now, I can just see right now, I can't do off-screen reload. If I go off screen, pull the trigger, same. So, no. Off screen reload doesn't work, you have to push the button. And again, this is really a PC game, so it's really reading player one as the mouse. So it's mouse click, right, and then middle mouse. But player two, I haven't set a corner. So as you can see, two player houses that two PC, flawless, it's great. We're gonna exit out. Again, I press escape. And I'll show you real quick the House of the Dead 3 one. Okay, so we're gonna launch House of the Dead 3. Um, I'm gonna try to fix up the configurations, but it's just something that happens. There's two programs that launch. We launch the config file and the mule shooter. And as you can see, it just backed out, meaning that it bought Hyperspin to the front because in all honesty, what happens is that um, Hyperspin is looking for the executable of the config file. And after the config file, it launched the mule shooter. So I'm gonna to try to fix the coding, but at least for right now, just to show you, um, you launched House Dead 3. I hit the Windows key. I'm gonna grab my mouse, and I'm just gonna hover over, and I'm just gonna click on this. So the unfortunate thing, and there's no way to do it, it's just how the PC game was made. You do have to go into controller settings. So I'm gonna just find my mouse, I'm a little too far. And you have to change player one to keyboard. You must put player one as a keyboard. You press exit and then you press play the game. It just has to, it, it's, there's no other way. Um, I tried setting the config file to read only. It would overwrite it. It was a nightmare. It sounds weird to set up player one as a keyboard, but that's exactly what you have to do. So I could basically now, with that, I still need the keyboard though. I have to press enter. And I could use, um, it's like R, I think. R is to go up. And again, I tried setting up a joy, joy to key. It just wouldn't read it. Uh, I have joy to key set up right now. And my joystick just wouldn't read it. It's such a pain in the ass. So R is to go up. Uh, basically, what you could do is that we could do survival mode. You press enter. And then that's it. For player two, let's see. It is T. You have to press the T button to bring in player two. I know it's a headache, I know, I know, I know, I wish I could do something, but unfortunately it's just not reading my joy to key. Um, so this game, I could actually press B, 
um, to make it work. And again, it does need to run the mule shooter for you to get two player action. As you can see though, we did play this game with the Wii. This game though is a little bit, you know, it looks kind of better with um, um, the PC side of it. But, and luckily we don't have any issues with reload because it just kind of automatically reloads. Again, I know, I know, I know, trust me, but I've spent like literally like eight hours playing with Joy to Key and it's just a headache. I'm, just, I'm gonna try to fix the hyperspin launch, but in all honesty, um, the mule shooter launches, the config file launches, and then the game launches. So I'll play around with it. I'll let you know if I do get it to work, but just in case, I mean, that's just something that has to be, it's one PC game. And again, I tried, I tried. I could even show you real quick at the end of this. I'll show you my joy to key running and it just, it just, it won't read it. For some reason, it just doesn't read my, my joysticks. And joy to key is basically having my joysticks, my arcade sticks pretend to be a keyboard, but I had to use my real keyboard. Um, so I had to press like enter. If I press enter, that's player one star. T is, um, it's either T or left control. We're gonna try it right now. I'm gonna let player two die. And we'll see how, what button it is for that. It was either left shift, left control, or it was a T button. So let's just see what happens. So if I hit, let's see, left control, no, nope. left shift, no, nope. T. It's the T button. You literally can't change it. I'm telling you, the configuration file, you just can't change it. So, I mean, some things do defeat me, and this game unfortunately defeated me. 